Millions of bacteria are raining down on us all the time and you have 10 times the number of bacterial cells in your body as human cells. Hi and welcome back to another A-Level Biology video. This one's about bacterial cells. What makes them prokaryotic? The structure and function of their cell components and how they reproduce. Let's get started. Bacterial cells are about 10 to 100 times smaller than animal cells. They are prokaryotic, which means they do not have a membrane bound nucleus. In fact, they don't contain any membrane bound organelles at all. This is opposed to eukaryotic organisms like plants, animals and fungi. The bacterial cell is surrounded by a cell membrane, which, just like in plant and animal cells, is a phospholipid bilayer that controls what enters and leaves the cell. Bacteria also have a cell wall. Its function is to provide structural support. But unlike in plant cells, it is made of a macromolecule called murin, not cellulose. Antibiotics often work by damaging bacterial cell walls, so it's important to understand their structure. The DNA is free in the cytoplasm. Bacteria have one big circular piece of DNA, which is coiled up. Unlike in eukaryotic cells, it is not associated with proteins. In addition, they often have plasmids, which are smaller rings of extra DNA. Plasmids can often contain genes for antibiotic resistance and can be passed quite easily from one bacterium to another, even from one species of bacteria to another. So this can cause problems for us when we're trying to treat bacterial infections. While bacteria do not have any membrane bound organelles, they do have ribosomes, which are needed for synthesizing proteins. Although bacteria's ribosomes are smaller than the ribosomes found in eukaryotic cells. Some bacteria are covered with a slimy capsule to protect them from their surroundings. And some bacteria have one or more flagella, which are whip-like tails that allow them to move. Bacteria reproduce asexually in a process called binary fission. First, the DNA replicates. The main piece of circular DNA is only replicated once, but the plasmids may replicate many times. Then the cytoplasm divides, producing two genetically identical daughter cells or clones. Bacteria can divide once every 20 minutes, given the right conditions. So that's it. See if you can complete this table by ticking the correct boxes. There's a printable version of this in the description box below. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and leave any questions or comments below. See you in another video. Bye.